Aquarius family, welcome. As you can see, I have some decks out. Um, I was, I've been meditating a lot. I, I was in meditation and these are the decks that I saw in meditation. A lot is being revealed. Um, I kind of wanted to check in on you guys to check on the energy. I'm feeling a lot of things right now and I'm wondering if it's a collective or if it's just uh, from the work that I've been doing. Um, I talk about it a lot. You guys know that I've been doing um, the forgiveness affirmations every day and the letting go and the detachment work. And there's a lot of things coming up to be released. And along with that, a lot of revelations. And um, one of the most recent ones is that um, there's somebody doing magic. Uh, and that this does not mean that they are um, lighting candles, making potions, hiring people to put spells on you or anything like that. It's just that somebody's um, thoughts about you that are obsessive and ongoing is creating an energetic cord around you and making it so that you can't move on and move forward with your life. Okay. So, you know, that's why I recommend it in the other readings to do the keep doing the cord cutting, keep doing, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right after this reading, keep doing the Bernard, uh, meditation and calling in Archangel Michael to break yourself free from this energy that you have this psychic spiritual bond and connection with because this person is the message is this person is with someone else okay and they're still trying to hold on to you um for those of you guys who have two people in your energy and they're both with other people Okay, don't take this if this isn't yours. This is what I'm getting intuitively in meditation. Okay, um, one could be lying, saying they're single, but they're not. And then there's another person that could be saying that they're in the process of getting a divorce, but they are letting their family influence them into working it out and staying with the karmic. But it's like while they're in these other superficial karmic situations, they are like lusting and obsessing over you and tying you up energetically. So the more that's that's the download that I got just now. And I had to rush before it, it, it went away uh, to to start this reading. I, I didn't even get to I had only a few minutes left of the meditation. Um, but I stopped it to come deliver this message. Um, so yeah, nothing but lies that you're getting from these people. Um, if, 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 uh, if you're blocked by, by one or both or whatever the case may be, it's because this person is still, um, entangled. They're still with somebody else. Um, if they try to come back into your life, um, trying to, you know, uh, come back into your life, right? Trying to apologize and make all these empty promises, but then you're still, but then they disappeared again and you're still blocked. That's a huge message that they're still married. They're not getting a divorce. They are, uh, trying to work it out. Um, you know, uh, with the karmic for the sake of money or children or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, so it is imperative that you work on uh, cutting the cords and doing a cord cutting and uh, keep doing the cord cutting every day and the letting go and the forgiveness and move on to new love, okay? Um, when you no longer feel this person's energy in your energy, okay? It's just, uh, it's a very strong message of magic being done. It's called black magic. Um, and somebody's manifesting you not from the best and not from the, uh, their higher self, from their ego and not from the best intentions. Okay. So take this only if it's your message, you'll know if this is your message because you'll feel like you can't move on and forward with your life, uh, because of some energy that you're not with. Also, you could be feeling heartache and heart pain right now. That could be because if you're doing the forgiveness work, all of the things, there are things coming up to be released. Okay. And, um, 
and I'm getting, you know, seeing things very clearly. So let's go ahead and start with the message. Let's see what comes out. I chose uh, the mirror oracle. I want to know uh, more about the situation. Um, this was an impromptu reading, so I didn't plan on this reading. This was guided. This was guided. Let me see here. Family, my mom has been calling me all day. And it's like, <laughs> she has a new cell phone. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to call her back when I have the energy to talk. But um, I want to start with this, this, this deck first. And then we'll get, we'll get more information here. I'm going to say a prayer. And then we're going to get started. The truth is being revealed. What's done in the dark is coming to light. Nobody can run game. Um, you're very astute right now. You're very clear. What you're getting in your intuition is uh, the truth. Okay. Uh, release any kind of doubts. Uh, sometimes our intuition reveals to us things that we don't want to look at. Right. A lot of things were revealed to me years ago that I dismissed it to. I didn't want it to be true. So I said, no, 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 nope, nope. <laughs> but I, you know, it was revealed to me years later that what, what, what was, what came to me intuitively in meditation was exactly what it is. Um, and, um, but I was avoiding it. I was avoiding looking at it because I didn't want to believe it to be true. But anyway, yeah. So chest, heavy breathing, tightness in the chest, heartache, lots of things coming up to the surface. So I'm using the psychic tarot of the heart here to see what's the energy for the Aquarius Collective right now. We'll get some information on, um, I've, I've been giving God to get some information on this, on whoever this is that I feel is um, spiritual warfare is what I'm getting. Um, keep doing the protection work, okay? Because if you're doing good and then all of a sudden you're, you're hit with this, you know, um, weird... Uh, all of a sudden you're feeling out of balance and down. That's definitely somebody sending you energy, okay? So um, I'm going to say my prayer and we're going to get started, family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angels and spirit guides made this message reach everyone that needs it. I'm going to post in the community board for you guys, a really good cord cutting so you can free yourself from this energy once and for all. Okay. Uh, I'm going to split that just because they're miserable in their misery in their unhappy situation. It's not right or fair that energetically they drag you into their misery. Okay. So, um, that's what I just heard. Um, let me split the deck. Oh, yeah, we have here um, flow here. This I believe is the wheel of fortune. Yeah. This is the wheel of fortune. Looks like the wheel of fortune to go with the flow here. All right. Let's see here. And you see, he was touching his chest, just, just touching his heart here. Yeah. Look, eight of cups move. Thank you, spirit. Come on now. Look, a sacral chakra, emotions are coming up, trauma freeing, trauma releasing. This is a relationship chakra here. Yeah, your intuition is on point. Your intuition is on point. Somebody here is, yeah, family, come on. Look at this, the devil card. Somebody's trying to keep you trapped, family. And this eight of swords energy here, okay? Feeling helpless and hopeless because they're in this energy. Look at this, the heart is caged. 
heart chakra here this is the devil energy your intuition is a thousand percent right here is the high priestess here okay keep releasing death card keep releasing okay and and keep keep doing this work it's creating a lot of change in your life here's the moving on card the eight of eight of cups detaching yourself emotionally from the situation i know it, it's it, it a thousand percent sucks that you have to even go through this that you have to even do all of this freaking work to to get somebody's damn energy out of your energy once and for all this person made their choice right they made their bed you know and it's like and they're choosing to to stay there okay it's a free will choice okay so um all right so exactly what i felt family wow all right what's the energy here for the aquarius collective <sighs> what's the energy for the aquarius collective yeah we have the two of swords here refusing to see this is again somebody's trying to keep you confused trying to keep you stuck this is this blocked energy and uh, uh stalemate energy right like th exactly it's like trying to keep you in denial like you know not not refusing to see the truth of what is really going on okay behind the scenes here behind your back what's going on spiritually here okay we have look but you're getting the messages <laughs> you have the the spiritual support you what you're getting the downloads that you're getting crown chakra you're getting also protection from the angels they're trying to get you to see something here aquarius okay the truth what else here for the aquarius collective right now All of this is coming to me in meditation. The more you reflect, the more you reflect, the more you take time to reflect. I act, look, five of swords, come on. This, these people here, they're trying to, look, nine, nine of wands, they're trying to take you out. They're trying to take, they're trying to take you out here. Okay. Um, the more you reflect. The more you take time to reflect and be with your own energy and hermit energy and, and nine of wands energy to yourself, the more clear you see the situation and what you, what's going on and what you want and don't want for yourself. Okay. There's no more refusing to see here. You see things clearly. What else for the Aquarius Collective regarding this situation here? What else for the Aquarius Collective? We have, um, is that, is that justice or is that temperance? We have eight of, eight of wands, success and growth. That could be why this person is, is trying to bring you into their misery energetically. And we have the six of cups. That's that memories of love. That's that nostalgia. That's that missing someone. Okay. That's that, um, you know, somebody here that can't then that, that isn't the can't make up their mind on what they want for themselves because they're not unawakened they're closed off okay it's like a, it's like a, a a head a head and heart is at war here somebody's at war with their head and their heart right this is somebody that you are merging with that you have merged with okay spiritually look at the star card it's 16 here for rebuilding after the tower and the seven of swords is this illusion energy the lie seeing beneath the veil beyond the veil cracking cracking the truth right wide open here things are being revealed to you okay we have um i think that the 14 is temperance yeah 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 14 is temperance so this is talking about you know, again, that spiritual connection, that merging, right? That past life connection here. Spirit is saying, keep coming back to the vibration of love. No matter how much, see the hearts is merging. Okay. As you can see here, touching the heart. This is the star card here for rebuild. 16. No, 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 no. 16 is the tower. 17 is the star. Okay. So yes. So this is the tower moment here. The 14 is temperance, which comes before the devil 15. Okay. So the devil was 15. 
So it's like patience is needed here. Balance, healing and balance is needed. So, so a breaking free, right? A breaking free from this once and for all. I'm getting um, balance and healing is needed because right, what comes after 14 is 15, the devil. And what comes after the devil is the tower. So it's like patiently waiting for this tower to come crumbling down to restore the balance back into your life and into the situation itself, right? So there is, um, yeah, because you see there is lightning here. So the tower comes in to break you free from this attachment, from this devil energy that's trying to create, you know, um, blocked energy and trying to create blocks in your life, trying to keep you stuck and confused, Okay, but look, there's going to be a momentum and energy here. There's going to be movement. Okay, you're experiencing like fat. Yes, thank you, spirit. I'm going to pull what's being activated right now. You're experiencing fast growth. Fast growth here. Okay, and a lot of success, incoming success, because you're finally letting your, you're finally coming out of denial. You're coming out of, uh, you know, um, living in this um romanticizing situation and living in this fantasy of how you know you want somebody to be or look or or you know how you want things to be and you're seeing the truth of the matter you're receiving a lot of messages from the divine and and it's helping you to even express yourself creatively there's the empress wow look there's the star card 17 healing so much healing that's another thing with your heart chakra, what's going on with your heart chakra right now? So much healing is taking place. Yeah, five of cups. You're freeing yourself from this pain. You're changing your focus. Mm -hmm. And you are uh, and you are closing this out. The world, 21. You're closing this out. You're changing your focus, five of cups. You're healing from, from whatever this 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 was or this is going on in your life you're you're seeing look throat chakra is the 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 chakra of freedom you're seeing the truth you're speaking your truth you're living your truth you're no longer being stuck in denial anymore about anything what's being activated right now for aquarius what's being activated right now for aquarius Yeah, that message, I don't know what reading it was that I did for Aquarius. It was a message about coming out of denial. Yeah, family, that, you know, it didn't happen. For some of you guys, it was happening already at that time. But you know how it is. Everything always manifests energetically. It comes through energy before it, we see it in the in the material, in the physical world, right? And um, I'm picking up on this energy. I'm feeling this energy right now that the denial is you coming out of it, okay? When it comes to these uh the, the this this relationship you that you have emerged here with somebody spiritually okay you can feel everything that this person i'm also getting uh you're coming into balance which i picked up in this morning's reading as well you're coming into balance with the masculine and feminine energy within you i'm actually really looking forward to going into a cord cutting meditation right after this reading I'm, like seriously the tower bring down the tower break free already Break free from the Six of Cups situation here that has kept you so caught up and so stuck, okay, for so long. It's this it's this person putting magic on you, okay? Look at that karmic board clearing and the dark night of the soul and full system upgrade and the violet flame. Can't make this up. Karma, karmic release, um, full system upgrade. Secrets are revealed, family. Treasures uncovered. Okay, what's being activated for the Aquarius Collective right now? What's being activated? Crown chakra upgrade. Oof. Oof. And solar plexus. Angelic frequency. This came out in this morning's reading of what's being activated. I just shuffled and there it is again. Angels are here. You are so safe. Okay. Your, your willpower here. Taking your power back. Solar Plex, Ricky Rachel just posted a taking your power back meditation today. Perfect timing, right? Because that was the message from this morning's reading that I did. 
uh, that posted at 5 a.m. Um, so gaining your willpower, your inner fire, and um, in your willpower, you are taking control of your energy. This is a, the solar plexus is masculine energy. It is fire element. It represents inner peace, which, which the crown chakra is helping you with that. Personal power right here. Self-acceptance, self-worth, self-confidence, trusting and accepting your gut feeling. What you're getting is the truth. Okay, we have divine connection, holy experiences and miraculous energy. Your crown chakra, which we saw somewhere here at the bottom of this deck earlier that the crown chakra that spirit was helping you here to to reveal to you there's an awakening taking place you're coming out of denial you're 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 seeing things for exactly as it is crown chakra upgrade 58 i'm gonna do uh uh i'm gonna do a uh cord cutting after this reading the crown chakra is the energy center found at the top of the head, often symbolized by a thousand petal lotus. It governs our connection to wisdom, both internal and that of source. Opening the crown chakra represents connecting deeply with the heart of source and drawing down inspiration and insight. This card transports us to the sacred hall with pillars representing the divine connections to source and a gateway that is guarded by a white dove symbolizing the Holy Spirit. It may seem as though this is another realm or dimension. Ultimately, it is found within. I just heard spirits say, if, so, if this person tries to reach out to you again, um, or reach out to you at all, um, to tell them to apologize or to uh, come back to your life, um, maybe it might be best to tell them, thank you for your apology i forgive you i wish you and your family the best right take care have a nice life that's what i just heard spirits say uh, we're all facets of the holy spirit incarnate this card calls us home to ourselves encouraging us to claim our divinity your message your crown chakra has been upgraded that's why you're getting your that's why you're seeing the truth The spiritual connections you have always had are now being acknowledged. The parts of yourself that the parts of yourself that you have run from or ignored are being reclaimed. What the parts of yourself seek the truth that you refuse to see. For you are uncovering gifts and wisdom and moving through healing. You may have experienced moments that have tested your faith and your belief in the divine. Yeah, that has been recent, I felt. Know that it's okay and no grievances are being held against you. The Holy Spirit is with you and within you. This is a coming home to your truest self. You are also being encouraged to prepare to prepare yourself for miracles. Interesting, because I was guided to call to use the Ascended Masters deck by Kyle Gray, the keepers of the light. That was what the one of the decks I saw in meditation. And interesting because the crown chakra is what's being activated here. And it has everything to do with um, the Holy Spirit and the ascended masters trying to help you. You're being encouraged to prepare yourself for miracles. Ex expect to experience wonder and blessings for you are being surrounded by healing light right now. That's if you're feeling pain, in your heart chakra or pressure or sadness and you're crying and things like that it's because you're healing and the more like i said the more that you do the forgiveness affirmations and the letting go affirmations the detachment affirmations which i've been doing every night the more you're not the more you probably the, the more you're no longer even going to want the situation to come back into your life or want to, to entertain it or want it anymore. Um, you're going to be so turned off and disgusted by it because you're seeing people for exactly who they are and, and, and it's grossing you out. Divine encounters and holy experiences are happening around you. If you have had a challenging relationship with spirituality or religion in the past, this has now been healed and you are to move forward in an authentic way experiencing the divine on a personal level and beyond the limitations of unnecessary dogma you are connected 
So that there, there's the Holy Spirit here helping you out. All right. Um, I kind of want to get uh, keepers of the light now since let's split the deck here. We have Mercury, open communication. Get the weight off of your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So some of you guys are telling people exactly how it is, how you feel, what you want, what you don't want you know what your requirements are you know what you're going to deal with or not deal with and uh and it's really helping you to empower yourself and free you as well throat we thought throat chakra throat chakra is the chakra of freedom we have isis magic manifesting under that we do have a full moon in uh gemini on the 27th you could be already starting to feel the effects of that 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 full moon you know gemini is ruled by mercury here mercury is the planet of communication and uh the messenger of the gods so you're you're gonna feel you know like like getting st stuff off of your chest on and around and leading up to this full moon and expressing yourself emotion uh, releasing your emotions um we also have on the 14th of December, the shadow period of Mercury. Mercury goes retrograde on the 28th of December. So um, we're going to, you know, spend, you know, Christmas and around Christmas and even into the new year in Mercury retrograde. So um, we have transcendence here. All right. What else for the Aquarius collect? Ugh. Decks are, the deck is going everywhere. Who shuffles like that? <laughs> Split the deck here. What else for the Aquarius Collective? We have magic manifesting. So, you know, prepare for a miracle. This message today is not going to be for everybody. You'll know if this is yours. Only take what's yours and leave the rest for others. Wow, supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut, family. So to support this energy, just do the cord cutting meditation. Okay, move beyond limitations and trust. Uh, I'll post I'll post uh, some on the community board for you guys. Some of the ones that I like. We have here life force energy. Express your divine passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So um, so this is a solar plexus and sacral chakra energy here. Sir Nuno's is the ascended master showing up and then we have lady venus here downloads and understanding truth is being revealed can't make this up deep insights coming from heaven and the astral realm trust what you're getting trust which what's being revealed to you trust your intuition about the situation that you've asked that you ask the divine for clarity on because you're getting you're getting the download see from your crown chakra okay um life force energy here this is sacred this is sexual energy it's going to be increased so that'll be the time for you to express yourself creatively in your life as well all right i want to get one more spirit said get one more for the aquarius collective we have bridget inner strength and mercury again at the bottom of the deck oh wow archangel michael here trusting heaven you are safe Angels stand close bow by surrender your concerns and allow the miracle to occur. You have a miracle coming in as it said in the crown chakra here. Um, and Mercury again, inner strength with Bridget move back to wholeness, recognize that you have the power. So you're being asked to take your power back Aquarius. Okay. And I feel with this crown chakra, crown chakra is all about wholeness. This is about wholeness as well you know, um, coming into balance with the masculine, the divine masculine and feminine energy within you, right? And then we have this, a huge tower moment here. That's what's being revealed, you know? And, um, and right now in this deck, it talks about rebuilding, right? Rebuilding after a tower moment and, re and regaining and restoring the balance. It's like you're going through a rapid growth, rapid ascension, spiritual growth right now going through the crumbling okay of all the things here that we refuse to see that we didn't want to look at that we didn't want to believe right because it because it hurts too much to believe it but um let's see what else what else do we need to know about uh the situation here 
that Aquarius has on their mind. We have rejection. We have separation and rejection. Yeah, connecting with your higher self here. That's this uh, crown chakra. Yeah, free will. You're in your free will. Also, I feel like whoever you're dealing with here is in their free will as well. As well. What does Aquarius need to know about this situation? So, uh, this person here that you're that you're have in your energy, they are with a false twin flame. Okay. See, there, this it's a masculine energy here that has their arm um, around a woman, but looking somewhere else. Okay, so um, yeah, look at that. They have they're in pain. They have a choice to make. They're in pain. This divine masculine here. They're confused. They're confused. Okay, they're in pain. They, they're in, you know, they have a choice to make, okay? This is somebody that you met, that you had love at first sight with, okay? Uh, they're, they're being guided here to, uh, to close out a cycle here with this false twin flame that they're with. Yeah, look at that. For unconditional love with you, for true love with you. Like the story is, is writing itself. The story is writing itself. What else? And it's requiring all of the strength that you have to break yourself free from this situation. What else does Aquarius need to know about this situation, this person that's keeping them st stuck and trapped energetically? Yeah, this is your, tr that's why. This is your true twin flame. That is afraid. It's terrified. Yeah. It's terrified of this union here with you. Okay. That didn't jump. What else do we need to know here? Yeah. A family. Like I said, this runner, this person here, right? That is lying to you or whatever the hell they're doing, right? Behind your back here is... Um, keeping you stuck telepathy with telepathy is just keep doing the cord cutting is just not fair it's like you know it's like they're in pain they're suffering and they want to drag you into their misery energetically you know tell me here what does this twin flame want to say to aquarius this person runs from accountability. As I said that, as I said that, this person runs from accountability. Look, I'm sorry. This person may have apologized and then ran like a coward. They run from their accountability here, okay? They run from taking accountability. They give you, they give you mixed messages, mixed signals, which tells you that they don't know what they want, that they are guarded, emotionally unavailable. It's time to cut this cord. Or, or if hire somebody professionally to do it. Just keep doing the cord cutting every single day. I f look, you see? I feel your energy around me, telepathy. And I wonder if you're thinking of me too. Family, come on. I, I keep telling you. Look, again, again, again. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. When we aren't together, I feel our union right here. You guys are merged. You merged with this person. When this person is having a tower moment and you can feel it. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It takes you completely out of balance. What else does this twin flame want to say to Aquarius? They're sending you the hard stuff that you're feeling. A lot of it is you healing and you opening up your heart and you're releasing a lot of this stuff. But a lot of it is their stuff. Okay. I close. Look, this person is heavily telep te uh, tele telepathic. This person is heavily pulling on your energy and calling you in. 
I close my eyes and imagine you here with me and it feels so real. I'm beginning to understand that this is what it means to be in the 5D with you. Telepathy here three times. And then the union of you guys merging in the 5D, merging energetically. And you feel everything that this person is feeling. And yes, and it's requiring a lot of inner strength. This person may even be pleasing, doing sex magic, pleasing themselves with the thought of you. And that's also how they're keeping your energy. You know, it's, it's mad. It's black magic family. That's what it is. These feelings overwhelm me. I become afraid. Sometimes I even run away from you right here. Sometimes I even run away from you because of it. The runner. What else does this twin flame want to say? We're coming into union. 11, 11. And right under union. Union is an energy, not a physical construct. When we aren't together, I feel our union. 11, 11, 11. And another one here. Give me one more for what this person wants to say. One, again, again, family. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This just jumped. One of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in the frequency with the other. Stay conscious of this and if possible, try to help us elevate it. And under the deck, it says, I can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you what I feel. And that's why I, 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 that's what was guided, guided me to do this reading. Please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need help. So yeah, family, simply love. Go back to the frequency of love. And yes, I still recommend you doing the cord cutting and the taking your energy back um, by Pure Rasa, as well as viol do the cord cutting, take your energy back by Pure Rasa, as well as the Violet Flame. Pure, the pure Ross to take your energy back, cord cutting, the violet flame, the Bernard one, the Bernard, um, because I feel like this person is in pain and they're manifesting you from that place and it's, and it's messing with your energy frequency. Okay. You feel everything in your heart that this person is feeling. So, but a lot of the stuff is yours as well. Keep doing the detachment affirmations, the letting go and the forgiveness one as well. That's going to help you to free you from this. So this person is with somebody else, family. While they are, you know, manifesting you, which is not, not okay. Right? Not okay. Not, not fair. Not okay. Not right. Because it's painful. And, and it's, it's just not fair to keep you from moving on with your life while they're with somebody else, while they're sleeping with somebody else. While they're living their life with somebody else. This is narcissistic energy of wanting your cake and eating it too. Let's see what else the Aquarius need to know about what's going on with their energy here. We have guidance. You are currently being guided by the divine. Yeah, look, breaking point. Things are becoming too much to bear. It's too much. That's why Spirit said, do the cord cutting. Look, hidden truth. Uh, refusing to see you are hiding from yourself. Leveling up. You are leveling up in life. We like the sound of that. What else is going on here with Aquarius's energy spirit? What's going on with Aquarius's energy right now? Please. What's the message here for Aquarius? Performer. So you guys could be on on stage or in the public eye you guys could have you guys could be a singer musician actor actresses you guys could be you know um on some kind of public platform okay in the public eye so keep shining your light we have here someone could be facing addiction so you know it, you could be dealing with somebody that is in the public eye uh, so again, this person here is addicted to you, addicted to your energy. You could be addicted to this person's energy, or it could be other addictions that you're battling or that you're trying to heal or be careful with addictions when it comes to all of these emotions coming up and you wanting to escape, avoid, run, distract, numb, 
okay? You're meant to sit with the pain so that you, it can heal. Can I have one more? This person wants you to send them energy. They, 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 they're, they're, it's like they're ciphering your light. They, they, they want you to send them energetic support. Who's going to send you energetic support, right? It's like you're dealing with somebody selfish. Yeah, someone, someone is desiring you. Someone is desiring you. Again, with the whole life force energy, express your d d driving passion, sensual and sexual powers. So this person, telep under telepathy here, look, a twin flame under addictions. So I don't know. I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I saw the message that said it's getting too much to bear. It's getting too much to bear. This uh, performer. Okay, performer under false twin flame. Somebody's playing pretend where they are. Somebody's entertaining somebody else here. I'm getting that as well. Um, or somebody could be with somebody else. You could be in the public eye and they're watching you. They're watching you. They can't take their eyes off of you while they're with while they have their arms around somebody else. You you're dealing with a snake. A snake, a rat. Yeah, and it's like just because of this label here, it doesn't mean that we're we're going to stay stuck, right, in our lives. You know, while they're over there fucking somebody else, sleeping with somebody else, having a family with somebody else. You know, meanwhile, they want to keep us telepathically tied up to them. Talk about send me love. <laughs> you must got me fucked up for somebody else. What else here? I'm getting somebody's, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling somebody's frustration over this. So yes, the message here is to come back to love. See only love, come back to unconditional love. Take a breath, come back to center, release this energy of ego Come back to love, family. See only love. What will love do? And bring love into the situation. Release this person with love. In uh, the cord cutting, you you you, and you, if you worked with Archangel Michael in the cord cutting uh, meditation, you're not cutting the love. You're cutting these addictions to this, you know, type of connection here. You're cutting the attachment, the codependency to it. You're cutting the whatever negative energy that they're sending you and back and forth, right? Any kind of lack, you, you, that's what you're cutting. You're not cutting the love out, okay? You're, you're freeing yourself from this uncomfortable feeling, right? This uncomfortable feeling of not feeling like you can break free from this situation, okay? Can I have one more here for the Aquarius Collective? Yeah, this is something else that came out the other day also. Copycat. Someone is mimicking everything that you're doing. So doing the Bernard meditation is going to help you to protect you and the Archangel Michael from all kinds of entities, okay? There are people that are envious, that are insecure here, right? That are, you know, uh, like ghostly people that kind of doesn't have their own identity. So they attach to yours and try to you know, uh, often imitated, never duplicated, right? You are one of a kind, you are unique, your abilities, your gifts, your, you know, um, your talents here, performer, your talents here, they are unique to you. No one can really, you know, be you. Your greatest power is that no one is you. So, but still, that doesn't mean we can't call in protection from the divine, right? To help you with this cord. You are protected right here. Cords are being cut. Someone is shy, has a lot of insecurities and they're acting childish. Somebody may feel like somebody could be in jail, but somebody could feel like they are, you know, stuck in some kind of situation, but they're not. They're in their free will. Yeah. Somebody may get arrested from having some kind of physical altercation, in this toxic situation that they're in with somebody else, okay? Um, because somebody is childish in their energy, or they are, 
Um, all right, let's see. Actually, Spirit just told me to look at the bottom here. Leveling up spell work. Didn't I say? Spirit said, look at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has been casting spells on you. And that doesn't have to be lighting a candle, making potions in the kitchen. That's just somebody's thoughts. What they're speaking out loud about you and your connection. What they're thinking. Okay. Uh, words are spells. Phases. This phase will end soon. Guidance. Follow the guidance that you're receiving right now at this time. So this union, I feel it's happening spiritually. I don't know if it's happening physically. Again, this person is with somebody else. I don't know if it's happening physically for you. It could for some of you guys. It could be coming up, you know, uh, by the end of the year or when Mercury goes retrograde. But again, it, it feels like this is happening. The merging is happening I mean, it could be the tower is here and the tower is divine intervention. Anything can happen when the tower shows up. This person may want to rebuild and restore the balance with you. But to clarify this false twin flame. Yeah, they have a decision to make. A major life decision to make. Cords are being cut. Truth is being revealed. This person can't lie to you. This person can't lie to you. This person can't lie to you about their relationship with somebody else. Judgment is here. Tell me about this false twin flame that this person is with. What's going on here with this energy? Yeah, it's, look at this. Jug, the juggler. The juggler needing to make a decision. Right? It's time for this change. Destiny's at play. The wheel of fortune is here, family. The wheel of fortune is here. That means upheaval, right? A change, a relationship change, a change in the home. Yeah, they've been trying to prevent, to, 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 they've been holding back from making this decision. They kind of wanted to still continue to give to more than one person here. Give me one more on this twin, a false twin flame. They're doing nothing but watching and planning and thinking and waiting, right? Regarding this new beginning here, regarding taking action on this new beginning here with you. Regarding this new, this, this, this divine opportunity from God for a new start right here to rebuild and to balance things out here with you. This is destiny that's at play. That's why it's important that you just cut the cords, free yourself from this, release yourself from this. Now that you know the truth, right? And, uh, and, and keep going here with your life. Give me one more on this false twin flame. Look at the temperance. Yeah, temperance is, is 14. They want to come in here and, and, rebuild and balance things out they want to offer you some kind of reconciliation mending here they want to offer you this cup because they are going through this uh wheel of fortune they're going through this change clarify for the wheel of fortune for this person we have here the page of swords that's them watching you again looking at you watching you here and waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time to approach that yeah, they blocked you. Okay. Because they have a, they have a family that they're holding on to, to dear life to, or somebody here in this family is holding on to them or this person's family members has influenced them to, uh, staying and working things out with the karmic. Yeah, this person is in their comfort zone here. They What they need to do is set boundaries with these people that's, that's opposing their decision, what they want to do with their life. This person is heavily influenced by their family members. Give me one on this twin flame. Yeah, look, there's, this is the kind of energy that they're sending you, tele telepathy. That's why if you're feeling pain in your chest, 
and sadness in your chest and, and heartache and pain is because your telepathy, you're feeling this person's regret, remorse, shame, guilt, missing you, emotional loss. They feel you possibly disconnected disconnecting from them and rebuilding your life and coming back into balancing your life. And, and it's like, right when you start to do that, this is when they come in to pull your energy back. The truth about this person is coming out. Yeah. They're, they're, they're going through an awakening and some kind of healing here. The healing is needed both for both of you guys. So it's like divine timing is at play here. This is delayed communication that could be coming in soon to you regarding this, 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 this situation here. Yeah. It's like this person is sending you, you know, sexual energy through their, through telepathy here. That's what desires came out. Someone desi is desiring you desires came out on the telepathy. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, family. And and sad. You're feeling this person's pain. Remember, we have here, one of us is sad or angry and is creating an energetic... I picked up on the anger, the frustration, and I also am picking up on the sadness as well in this energy reading. So, yeah, it's just uh, meditate, pray, rest right now. Let me get some guidance for you guys. I am going to get you some messages from this person because I do feel like this person has some things that they want to say. Spirit, what what does the Aquarius's twin flame want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius twin flame want to say to Aquarius? It's a lot in the heart area I'm feeling. I'm feeling ch like pain, chest pains, pressure. I'm connected to you guys. So... This may not resonate for everybody, uh, but if you are on the twin flame journey and uh, you could be feeling this really strongly right now, especially when we're in Scorpio season, the five of cups is a Scorpio card. But the eight of, the eight of wands is here, which is talking about movement and communication and the six of cups represents reconciliation and, and missing, missing one another. Delayed communication. Spirit, what does Aquarius' twin flame want to say to Aquarius? Look, Mercury is here. You could be getting communication coming in. Just continue to trust your angels and trust heaven. But even if you do get the communication, like Spirit said, while this person is lying to you that they're getting a divorce or that they're leaving somebody, right, while still keeping you blocked, okay, um, you let them know to have a nice life, right? I forgive you. Thanks for your apology. Uh, I wish you and your family the best, right? We have, uh, what does Aquarius' twin flame want to say? And keep moving on with your life. What does Aquarius' twin flame want to say? I've, I've lost faith that real love exists. People have lied. People have lied to and cheated on me. I'm afraid to open my heart now. If they would have made um, the decision to, you know, um, to have stayed with their twin flame, they wouldn't be feeling the way that they're feeling now, right? They would be uh, cheated on. They wouldn't have been lied to. They would really do believe that real love does exist, right? Because they would see it every day with their twin flame. I didn't realize what I had five of cups until it was too late. Have you moved on or do I still have a chance with you? That's going to be up to you, Aquarius, to decide whether or not this person still has a chance with you or not. What does Aquarius's twin flame want to say to Aquarius? I hid my real thoughts and feelings from you. I was in denial, two of swords, and afraid of losing you. I see clearly now. I just heard the song in my head. I see clearly now that the rain is gone. My childhood was difficult and it still affects me. I was let down by the people I loved and trusted right here. I lost faith in people that real love exists, that people can be loyal, that people can be real. <laughs> 
I, I, it's interesting, right? Because they lost faith in people, yet they're they're with a karmic. Make it make sense. What else does Aquarius' does twin flame want to say to Aquarius? You challenge me in ways that make me grow. Even though it's difficult, I know it's right. That's the point of this twin flame connection. I need to be alone for now. I need to make sense of my intense feelings. I don't want to feel this way. What is the guidance that you have for Aquarius when it comes to this person? So do, do the cord cutting family like ASAP. Don't let this person drag you into their dis misery and despair energetically. Uh, you know, keep doing the protection work. Look, they're constantly thinking of you and you feel it. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. They're ciphering your light because they're in a, they're in a dark place. Take your light back. Take your power back. Do those two meditations, cord cutting and taking your power back, as well as the other ones I recommended. What what guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding this person? Deep in your heart, you you already know the answer. Do what feels right, not what your mind is telling you, what your heart is telling you. Look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Again, there is something going on in the way in how you feel your emotions uh you're being asked to sit with it yeah thank you archangel michael archangel michael what has a message archangel michael has a message archangel michael what message do you have for aquarius please What message do you have for Aquarius? Archangel Michael. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Call in Archangel Samuel and do a heart chakra meditation. Open your heart. I think your heart is opening right now as we speak. I, so that's the messages I've been getting the past few days. That's probably why you're feeling pain in your heart. And uh, if you're feeling angry, all of that's coming up to be released. Um, at this time, there is a, a healing here with the temperance that's taking place and the crumbling here, right? The crumbling, the rebuild. We saw the devil card with the heart in the, in, you know, locked up and all those other cards uh, uh, that came about right after that. So no one's perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. Wow. I'm picking up on like right here. The sadness, one of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in the frequency with the other. Stay conscious of this and if possible, try to help us elevate it. And then under the deck, it said, please send me energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. So this person here is um, needing your help. I do have on the community board um send your loved ones uh energy healing and protection from a distance you may be exhausted of doing that okay and but it's like if it's affecting your energy you know um it, it could benefit you from sending this person healing energy and protection if their extreme darkness is dragging you down with them and they're pit of despair and misery and pain that they're feeling this runner person here that runs from accountability that runs from responsibility and accountability when it comes to you who sends you mixed messages here this person that you have a past life connection with so um i'm gonna leave it right here family and i will check in on you guys like i said this was a I was guided when I was in meditation to do this reading. This is an impromptu reading. It is uh, an SOS reading feels like. So, um, yeah, just remember that, you know, right here we have uh, Archangel Michael saying, trusting heaven, you're protected. You are safe 
from any lower energies and darker energies, you might want to do Archangel Michael meditation. Also, supreme protection. You got you're protected twice. And you got here the angels surround you. The Holy Spirit is here keeping you safe as you purge and heal and release the pain that's coming up for you from your heart, the anger that's coming up for you from your heart from this situation that is unfair and it is painful and hard. Bridget is helping you with your inner strength. Okay. Move beyond to move back to wholeness. And I feel like, you know, you're doing this work right now to move back to wholeness, right? And uh, you're receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of truth. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond the limitations and have trust. Things are changing here with the wheel of fortune. Okay, just go with the flow. That was the first card when we split the deck. We saw the Wheel of Fortune, which is talking about going with the flow. <sighs> All right, I'm going to leave it right here. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. God bless you and namaste. Much love, family. Mm -hmm.